Hello everyone, I hope you had a good long weekend and were able to rest and enjoy your family. So today we are picking back up with Connecting Math Lesson 92. So I need you to pause your video and make sure you have your worksheet in front of you because we are going to do some story problems together and you have to have your worksheet. That's something else and on the math, if you need more time to do something, just pause your video and give yourself more time and then start it back up when you're ready. So get ready for our first part. We have a number family arrow with two little numbers, 15 and 62, and our big number is 77. So say your first plus problem with me, 15 plus 62 equals 77. And the other plus would be 62 plus 15 equals 77. Do the minus with me. 77 minus 62 equals 15. And the other minus would be 77 minus 15 equals 62. Get ready for your next one. Here we have 26 and 170 are our small numbers. Our big number is 196. Say the plus problems with me. 26 plus 170 equals 196. 170 plus 26 equals 196. Say the minus. 196 minus 170 equals 26. The other one, 196 minus 26 equals 170. All right, get ready to do some time. So yesterday you learned to read your digital time by saying the hour first and then the minutes. And if our minute is a zero, then we say o'clock. So read this time. Yes, this would be nine o'clock. Get ready. Do our minutes show zero? No, so we will not say o'clock. So read the time. 2.30. Get ready for the next one. Do our minutes on this one say zero? Yes, so will we say o'clock? Yes, get ready to say the time. 11 o'clock. Get ready for your next one. So do these minutes say zero? No, so will we say o'clock? No, so get ready to read the time. 10.30, get ready for your next one. Do these minutes say zero? No, so will we say o'clock? No, get ready to read the time. 1.30, get ready for your last clock. So do these minutes say zero? Yes, so will we say o'clock? Yes, get ready to read the time. Five o'clock. Okay, so now is the time for you to pause your video and go get your worksheet. <coughs> we are going to start with lesson, or I'm sorry, part three. This is going to be a comparison problem. So because it's a comparison word problem, I actually made pictures for you so that you could see them. Remember what we do when we compare? We always minus. I'm going to tell you how heavy two dogs are. You're going to write the problem and figure out how much heavier one dog is than the other dog. Listen to the problem. A poodle weighs 21 pounds. A Labrador weighs 134 pounds. So how much does a poodle weigh? 21 pounds. How much does a Labrador weigh? 134 pounds. Which dog is heavier? The Labrador. Write the problem to show me how much heavier the Labrador is than the Poodle. It's okay for you to pause this as you write it. So 
So now you want to write this on your A of part three. Show me the equation. You're going to start with your biggest number. Pause the video and when you're done, here is what you should have for your answer. Read the, pro the problem with me. 134 minus 21 equals 113. So we know that the Labrador is 113 pounds heavier than the Poodle. Or the Poodle is 113 pounds lighter than the Labrador. All right, here we have another one. An oak tree was 458 years old. A pine tree was 153 years old. How much younger was the pine tree than the oak tree? Listen again. An oak tree was 458 years old. The pine tree was 153 years old. So say the problem for figuring it out. 458 minus 153. So this is a time for you to pause your video if you need to and go and write your problem on B on part three. So here is what you should have written. 458 minus 153 equals 305. So that means that the oak tree was 305 years older than the pine tree, or the pine tree was 305 years younger. Now I want you to find part five on your worksheet. We're gonna do another story problem. This time I'm not going to show you the numbers, so you will need to pause. I'll try to read it to you twice, but I need you to write these on part five. Listen, there were 38 cars on the street, then 42 more cars parked on the street. How many cars ended up on the street? Listen again. There were 38 cars on the street. 42 more cars ended up on the street. How many cars were there all together? So now's your time to write this on part A on your worksheet. So because we are asking more, then we were doing a plus problem. 38 plus 42 equals 80. So there were 80 cars still on the street. Get ready for B. Listen, Jan had $284. Then she spent 164 of those dollars. How many dollars did Jan end up with? Listen again. Jan had $284. Jan spent 164 of those dollars. How much money did Jan end up with? Think about if you're gonna do a plus or a minus. Write your equation and your answer on part B, please. So this is what you should have wrote, 284 minus 164 equals 120. So Jan ended up with $120. Okay, so now it's time for us to finish the rest of the worksheet. So I'm going to walk you through what I want you to do. So get ready to look at part one.
So in part one, you just have some basic minus and plus problems. You need to write an equal sign in the answer. Remember, when you're minusing, you're counting back. When you're plusing, you're counting forward. Part two is money. So you're more than welcome to try to count this, but I would also, but it's also okay if you want to just cross it out. You do not have to do your money part on your worksheet. We've already done part three, so now you have part four. This is just basic addition. Remember that you're going to probably have to carry on all of these. So if you have two digits in your ones, you'll carry to your tens. Two digits in your tens, you'll carry to your hundreds. Part six, you have some place value addition. On A, all you have to do is add down the columns. Part B, they have a place for your hundreds, a part for your tens, and a part for your ones. Part seven is counting some change again. So you're more than welcome to do this if you'd like, but you also may cross it out. Part eight is, <clears throat> sorry, your shapes. You're gonna figure out what the big shape is and circle the name for it. Then you need to write the letters in the little shapes that are in, in, cut into the big shape. Part nine is the same thing. You need to figure out what the big shape is, circle the word, and then you need to write the letter for the little shape after the equal sign. Part 10, you have some equations on here. I want you to write the minus problem for each one of these, sorry, these number families, write the minus problem. Remember the minus is gonna start with your biggest number. Part 11, you have some missing parts and some missing holes. On A, it looks like you're gonna start, you're gonna count your little circles and count up from 137. On B, you need to figure out your parts on the ruler and then count back. Part 12 reduces your greater than, less than, or equal. So you're gonna make your alligator eat your biggest number. If your two numbers are the same, then you need to write an equal sign. Be careful because they're gonna try to trick you. Part 13, here is where you have a missing little number or big number. You need to write the equation you use to find your missing number and then write the number on the blank up on top of the number family. So that is the rest of your worksheet. So now it's time for you to go and do your worksheet. Make sure when you're completely done that you have someone take a picture of it and send it to me. I hope everybody enjoyed the lesson. It's going to start getting a little bit harder. We're going to have to start doing our story problems again. So I tried my hardest to give you enough time. Uh, but like I said, it's always okay for you to pause the video if you need any more time on any of the parts. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I will see you tomorrow.